Hello students in this lecture let us learn about berg's theorem the statement of the berg's theorem is a matching m in g is a maximum matching if and only if g contains no m augmenting path so the statement is an if and only if condition which is first we have to assume that m is a maximum matching and then we have to prove that g contains no m augmenting path in the second part of the proof we have to assume that g contains no m augmenting path in that case m will be a maximum matching so we have to assume this and we have to prove that m will be a maximum matching now let us see the proof of this theorem for to prove this theorem first we should know what is a matching what is a maximum matching and what is an m augmenting path to know about it in detail you can see the videos which have been posted before this okay in short a matching is a subset of the edge set in which the elements of the matching m will be edges which will be non adjacent to one another so the matching m is a subset of the edge set in which those edges will be non adjacent to one another and what is a maximum matching so a maximum matching is the matching which has the maximum cardinality that is we cannot find any other matching whose cardinality is greater than the cardinality of the matching m so that is a maximum matching and m augmenting path is an m alternating path that is the uh, members of the path will will alternate between m and e restricted to m so it will be like m and m complement provided the condition is the origin and the terminus of the path should be m unsaturated so this is the uh, three definitions that we Uh, need to prove this theorem now we shall see the proof of this theorem so first let us assume that m is a maximum matching and we shall prove that g contains no augment m augmenting path so first let m be a maximum matching in g we shall prove that g contains no m augmenting path to prove this we shall use the method of contradiction that is we have to prove that g contains no m augmenting path let us assume the contradiction that g contains an m augmenting path so we will assume this contradiction and we will try to prove the theorem so let us assume the contradiction let us assume that g contains an m augmenting path now let us consider the following figure so now let us consider this figure which is a path the elements of this path are edges of m and edges of e restricted to m for example the edges e2 e4 e6 e2 n are edges of m e1 e3 e5 e7 etc like that e2 n plus 1 are edges of e restricted to m so let us consider this p which is an m augmenting path so now in this path the edges e1 i mean e2 e4 etc in general we can write as e2 k are elements of m and the edges e1 e3 etc up to e2 k plus 1 are elements of e restricted to m and we can see that the initial vertex v0 and the final vertex that is the terminal vertex in general we can write it as 2 k plus 1 are m unsaturated because they both belong to the edges that is these two vertices are incident with the edge v0 is incident with the edge e1 which is an element of e restricted to m and v 2k plus 1 is an uh, vertex which is incident with the edge e 2k plus 1 which is an element of e restricted to m 
so the elements or the vertices which are incident with the edges of e restricted to m will be m unsaturated and so therefore the initial vertex v not and the terminal vertex v 2k plus 1 are m unsaturated because the path p is an m augmenting path now let us consider another matching m dash of g which is constructed as follows so m dash is equals to it is the union of those edges that is m restricted to e2 e4 e6 etc up to e2k union with e1 e3 e5 so this goes up to e2k plus 1 so we are constructing another matching m dash in this manner so from this we could see that m dash is the set e1 e3 e5 etc up to e2k plus 1 because e restricted to these edges will be this set only so therefore m dash is this we notice that the number of edges of m is k and the number of edges of m dash is k plus 1 because in, in the part that we have constructed that is in this part that we have constructed we have taken these edges as the edges of m so we see that e4 e2 e4 e6 till e to n will be the edges of m and the number of edges if we see it will be k because this is like uh, in general we wrote it as e to k no so it will be k edges and if we see the edges of the m dash will be k plus 1 because we have till e to k plus 1 so the number of edges of m is k and m dash is k plus 1 and we see that is we can write it in this way also so the number of edges of m dash is equal to number of edges of m which is k okay plus 1 because it is k plus 1 that k can be written as number of edges of m so we see that the cardinality of m dash is equal to cardinality of m plus 1 so that implies that mod cardinality of m plus 1 is greater than modulus of m so we we find that modulus of m dash to be greater than modulus of m but this becomes a contradiction because we have considered a matching m which is the maximum matching so in the beginning we considered a matching m to be a maximum matching in g but we arrive at a contradiction that there is another matching m dash whose cardinality is greater than m so this contradiction proves that our assumption that g contains an m augmenting path is not true so therefore g must contain no m augmenting path so we could conclude this here so there which in this implies m dash is a maximum matching in g so which is a contradiction because m is the maximum matching so this contradiction proves that our assumption is wrong so let us just put that in words so which is a contradiction hence g contains no m augmenting path and therefore we conclude that if m is a maximum matching then g contains no m augmenting path we shall now prove the converse of this theorem proof to prove the converse let us first assume that g contains no m no m augmenting path 
so we have to now prove that so what we have to prove we have to prove that m is a maximum matching in g m is a maximum matching in g so this is what we have to prove so let us see the proof now now again we are going to prove it by the method of contradiction so let us assume the contradiction so let us assume the contradiction so what contradiction we are going to assume is we have to prove that m is a maximum matching in g so let us assume that m is not a maximum matching in g so let us assume that m is not a maximum matching in g so if m is not a maximum matching then there will be some m dash which will, which will be a maximum matching so let us consider some let m dash be a maximum matching in g so we are considering an m dash which is a maximum matching in g if m dash is a maximum matching then we know that the cardinality of m dash will be greater than the cardinality of m because m dash is a maximum matching so now we consider the subgraph h of g induced by the symmetric difference between m and m dash so what is the symmetric difference between m and m dash it is the union of m m dash minus m and m minus m dash that will that is it will contain only the edges of m and m dash so if you if for example if we see this is a graph g and this is a subgraph which is induced by the symmetric difference between m dash and m so if we see we don't have the other edges we have only the edges of m and m dash over here so we are constructing a subgraph like this after this we observe that the subgraph h that we have constructed will consist of components which are uh, any one of the following types that is h will consist of components so it will consist of components which are any one of the following type so any one of the following type so what is the first type one cycle it may be a cycle so and that cycle will be an even cycle so an even cycle whose edges alternate whose edges alternate between m and m dash or it will be a path in our example that we have considered we have considered a path only so or it may be a path whose edges alternate between m and m dash but we can see that the end vertices will be distinct so with distinct end vertices so a path whose edges alternate between m and m dash with distinct end vertices and since uh, we know that because m dash is the maximum matching the cardinality of m dash will be greater than the cardinality of m so this shows that h contains so it contains 
more edges of m dash than of m so we we infer that the subgraph h contains more edges of m dash than m because h is formed by taking the symmetric difference of m and m dash this implies that some path component so some path component so some path component p of h must start and end with edges of m dash so what will happen the origin and terminus of m of p so the origin and terminus of p will become and terminus of the path p being m dash saturated it will become m dash saturated in h and it will be m unsaturated in g so for some path component p of h must start and end with edges of m dash so what will happen is the origin and terminus of p being m dash it will become m dash saturated in h and m unsaturated in g and if it is m unsaturated it will imply that the path p is an m augmenting path the path p is an m augmenting path by the definition of augmenting path okay so it will become an m augmenting path in g because it is m unsaturated in g the path p is an m augmenting path in g so which is a contradiction so this is a contradiction the reason is we have assumed that g g has an m uh, uh, that is it does not have an m augmenting path so therefore this contradiction proves that proves that our assumption that m is not a maximum matching is not true so if this is not true then m has to be a maximum matching has to be a maximum matching so therefore we have proved that m is a maximum matching therefore g contains no augmenting path that is no m augmenting path if m is a maximum matching and hence we have proved the converse part also hope you have understood the theorem on bergs that is bergs theorem it's a very significant topic thank you